Hello everybody, Walters954 here, coming at you guys with the second OBS tutorial here. I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth on some of the settings and a little bit about the uh, screens, or the scenes on the screens, whatever you want to call them. So um, if you don't really want to hear me talk, you can go ahead and go to OBS.com and read these technical specs. I'm only going to go over the important stuff. So um, yeah, I'm here in the multi-platform version. You guys can go ahead and go into the settings. We already went through general, stream, did that in the first video. Um, video bitrate, we're gonna, actually going to switch this to the advanced mode. So um, audio tracks, if you're an audio person, you'll be using this. Different encoding styles, pretty sure X264, and let's call it, call it that. Um, that's the only one you can pick right now. You can add in some different ones if you want, but um, I would just stick with that one. It's the correct one to go with for right now rescale output so this is if you want to say you're streaming at 1080p and you want to downscale it to a uh, different resolution so what you you would go to you would, you can change it here there's also a different section where you can change it in the video as well so um, moving along custom buffer size I would say to turn it off your buffer size should pretty much be the same as your bitrate and your bitrate is your upload speed so you can go to speedtest.net begin your tests run through this whole thing um, actually while that's going I will also show you here on OBS the uh, estimator so you go in here plug in your specs if you're running a uh, second third fourth gen uh, let's say that we're doing a mobile GeForce and we want to play RTSs and uh, this is where your kilobytes come in. So is this done yet? No. Um, so every 1000 kilobytes is equal to one megabyte on here. So this is MB, this is KB. So most of the time speed test is going to come up as MB as you can see here. And um, you just need to convert that for it's one to one uh, 1000. So take this off and my upload is normally uh, around 12 so put in 1200 or 12,000 here and you see the recommended so your FPS to 30 uh, 60 FPS if you try doing some downscaling bitrate you can do any of these and um, some of the rest of these settings seven you you can do 720p CBR your bitrate should be the same on here so um, you can mix this up, just put in your rig and your uh, configuration that you get here. You can see that I got 12 up and uh, 81 down. Try to use the servers that are closest to your Twitch server that you selected from here. So um, I would do US East Miami area and that's where the server that I selected here is from as well. So um, yeah, you can see the recommended settings here. Um, back on the output, so yeah. 3500 is the maximum upload speed that you can put for the bitrate. So if you have it, you can put it. A lot of people just use uh, 2500. That's a pretty good number. Keyframe intervals, that just don't worry about that. Make sure to have CBR on because it's very good for your PC or very good for your streaming. Next up is what's actually for your PC is the uh, CPU usage. So for this, the it, it just depends on how taxing you want to be on the CPU. The the lower it is, the more taxing it is on your CPU. So the image quality will get better, but your CPU will suffer, and the life of your CPU will suffer. So the recommended is very fast. I would say to keep it on that if you're struggling to stream and play games at the same time. So if you're dropping below like 30 frames, go to ultra fast dry up playing with these two settings and um, another key one if you're losing frames is is don't stream at 1080p just lower your resolution down a little bit profiles don't even know what that is tune don't know what that is x264 or 264 so we decided uh, don't worry about that at least for now if you're just getting started out audio tracks so if you're a big audio person you can decide which which set um, which audio track you wanna um record to but i don't really mess with any of these the only one that i do so this is for recording now if you didn't notice so audio tracks are here for recording as well 
The only thing I miss on this screen is probably the uh, format. That's about it. And then there's the auto tab, audio tab. I don't mess with that at all. Audio, I would say make sure to move the sample rate to 48K if you have it. So check on your recording device. Right click on the sound recording device properties. Go into your advanced and uh, make sure that this channel is set to 4800 uh, hertz. That's just a better recording quality for your uh, microphone. And I'll probably put up a different video on uh, microphone quality later on. Video, this is where you can do some downscaling. So if you want your resolution to be different than what you're actually looking at, same thing. Um, selecting where you're going to be rendering from. These should all kind of be set. The only ones you may want to play with here is your uh, resolution. Same thing over here. Resolution is the only one that you may want to be playing with. The downscale filter, no idea about that one. Common FPS, I would say just leave it at 30. You don't really need to go up to 60. If you're, if you're streaming, 60 is hard to pick up on anyways. The um, hotkeys, pretty self-explanatory, and just put hotkeys out for whatever you want. In the advanced tab, I really don't mess with anything here. Like there's, unless you know what all this stuff is, you go through like the technical explanations and uh, read all this stuff, then don't mess with it. Also, um, before I close this one now, I guess I'll show you guys just a quick um, how to do some manipulations of the different screens. So I'll launch Hearthstone here and it should pop up on my game capture scene. Let's see. Yes. All right. So now Hearthstone is actually in this little scene. I'll actually put it down here. And um, you can see it's still running here and you can drag and slide or whatever. But you can also do quick transformations. So like if you want to make it fit. That looks all right, but you have a lot of blank space. Some streamers actually fill this blank space with like their face, so it looks really nice. Or you can go ahead and um, do another transformation to stretch the screen. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, some people would be able to tell if it's stretched, but it's not a big deal. So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to uh, check out some other videos that I have out here. And um, it's actually not where I wanted to be. Check out some other videos that I have. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Probably going to be putting out a Python video right after this one. So, um, yeah, that's about it.